Recently, I came across an interesting article titled, If Democratic Socialism is So Bad, Why is Norway So Great? As the author of the piece explains, Norway is actually considerably more wealthy than the United States, with a GDP of over $70,000 per person. Even when you correct for the moderately large oil sector, which accounts for a bit less than a quarter of its exports, it still has a cutting-edge, ultra-productive economy, far from some petro-state living off oil rents like Dubai. Socially, it routinely ranks as the happiest or second happiest country in the world. The rest of the Nordics are usually among the top five as well. Even more remarkable when you factor in the phenomenon of seasonal affective disorder and the extreme northerly position of the Scandinavian peninsula. On a snapshot of other quality of life measures, Norway boasts a life expectancy of 81.7 years, an infant mortality rate of 2 per 1,000 live births, a murder rate of 0.51 per 100,000, an incarceration rate of 74 per 100,000. How does that all compare to the United States? Well, our economy is somewhat less wealthy with per capita GDP of $59,500. But to be fair, that is about the highest outside of oil-rich or tax-haven countries. Socially, however, the picture is much worse. America ranks in the mid-teens for happiest countries while its life expectancy is two years behind Norway and actually fell in 2016 and 2017. America's infant mortality rate is three times higher, its murder rate is over 10 times higher, as is its incarceration rate. Surely there are complicated factors here not accounted for by economic systems, but it's impossible to believe that better social health has nothing to do with the Norwegian state using its economic control to provide everyone with generous health care, high wages, shorter working hours, and other such goodies. The fact is, when it comes to building a decent place to live, Norway is completely blowing America out of the water. So while conservatives have been pointedly ignoring the most obvious and relevant piece of evidence in their spittle-flecked tirades against socialism, Norwegians can and do point to the United States as an example of what happens when you let capitalism run wild, and with a great deal more justice. Now, I think Norway is definitely a country we should look towards in order to try and improve our country here in the United States. As the author of this piece aforementioned, Norway rates as one of the happiest countries in the world. In 2017, Norway rated as the happiest country in the world. In 2018, Norway rated as the number two happiest country in the world. And I think it's worth noting that Norway is one of the many countries around the world that has made public colleges and universities tuition free for its people. And I think it's also worth noting that Norway is one of the many countries around the world that guarantees health care to all of its people as a right. Both things we have yet to do here in the United States. Here in the United States, the idea of guaranteeing health care to all of our people as a right and making public colleges and universities tuition free is considered pie in the sky and something that could never realistically happen. But Norway, along with many other countries around the world, is proving that this isn't true and that it is possible to create a government that works for everybody and not just the wealthy.